guys doing? This is Noxia. Just a little video of what I've done. This is the F23 intake manifold onto the B1 engine. Uh, I'm not sure which manifold this is. I'm guessing this is the F23 from the EX. I don't know if it's an F23, A1, or A4. I'm not sure which one it is. But if you have a B1 engine, you have the FIA that you have to connect. And I think the only way you can connect it is through this nipple here that you have to get with the manifold. There are two different types of manifold of the F23. One doesn't come with this nipple, which I turned up. It's usually facing down, but I turned it up so I could connect the FIA. Um, I'm not sure if you don't need, I don't know if you don't need this, this exact manifold for the B2 since that B2 doesn't come with the FIA. I'm pretty sure you don't need this nipple, um, but yeah, this is uh, installed with a Honda intake gasket. Uh, you can't really see it. Um, your fuel rail from the F, from the B1 or the B2 will bolt up. Uh, what you will have to do is you do have to extend. I guess this is the um, temperature air intake temperature. You do have to extend it. You can see I've extended it. I'm guessing probably eight inches. I didn't extend it that much. As you can see, it's a little little tight there, but I'm pretty sure it'll hold. Um, I haven't really finished it because I haven't re really um, installed the bracket for the, the cable, throttle body cable. Um, what you will need also is black tracks. I'm sorry, black tracks intake. I'm sorry, the black tracks. Uh, AICV adapter. It's an adapter for a three wire to a two wire AICV, which is the stock one from the OBD ones. Okay. Um, you will have a problem installing this because, as you can see, the AICV is pointed towards the passenger side, which is hitting the TPS sensor right over here. What you have might most likely will have to do is uh, cut the coolant port on the bottom that goes from the coolant pipe the coolant pipe up to the AICV here and this will hit it and I am still you know having a little bit problem installing it because it's a little tight here but um, yeah you will have to cut it down short because um, this piece here it's a little long and I did have to extend the the holes the coolant holes I used a, a nipple from a thermistor housing. I took it out, and as you can see here, there you go, I extended that. Uh, yeah, this will be a little problem. And I'm still having a little problem because I have a throttle body um, spacer here from uh, Outlaw Engineering. If you want to give them a call they, or email them, they still do make the, the spacer. They give you the this harp, um plastic piece with two gaskets and it includes extending man or uh, throttle body nut or bolts here um, cost $35 I would definitely call them it's a good piece I mean I use I made my own gasket because I used all the ones from before um, what I did also is I cleaned up this uh, this cool um, this vacuum I guess this hose that that connects to this whole mess here so I took that whole piece out and I just jumped the coolant, the coolant hose from the FITV straight to the um, thermostat housing. Um, and about the vacuum connections, here we go. EGR, straight to this nipple here, which is from the B1. Same, I don't know if it's, the, I forgot if it's the same for the B2, but EGR. Follow that line and connect it straight to the top of this, which goes here and all this crap here and blah blah blah. And then the bottom of the the pipe, the vacuum hose thing, goes from the bottom and runs all the way to the top. I mean, you could use either one, but I connect it to this one over here. Fuel pressure regulator up here too. And if you have cruise control, which I'm still keeping, uh, I ran that nipple here. That vacuum hose here, straight through there. I mean, I, I just put it in just to test this out right now. Um, that's it. You will have to. Oh, also here, here, you have the nipple. 
uh, for the FIA. Run that over here, straight to the bottom of this FIA. Now the, the top nipple of the FIA goes into this nipple. Um, again, you have to make sure you get the right um, intake manifold. Because there's two types again, one without the nipple and one with the nipple. You really need the one with the nipple if you're going to install it on the B1. You really need this. I don't know if you really need this for the B2, but I know you need this for the B1. Because um, I tried not having this connected, but um, you have to have it connected. Uh, what else? That's it. After you run it, you cool it, turn on the car. Turn the heater on, make sure everything's fine. Of course, there's the coolant nipple here to bleed out the coolant, and that's it. Of course, I haven't finished. It's only on this, this is my first run. It's okay. And um, that's it. This is Noxia. I guess this is a DIY video for the F23 intake manifold. Signing out, peace.